Welcome back to another series, uh, another episode in the series, COVID-19 Franchise Leaders Respond. I'm your host, Fred Basel with IFPG. I'm joined today by franchisor, CEO, and founder, Aaron Stahl. Aaron is with P3 Cost Analyst, working from home. I see Aaron, welcome to today's call. I appreciate it, Red. So uh, first things first, how are you and your family holding up? And uh, you're based in Fayetteville, Arkansas? That's right, Fayetteville, Arkansas. Yeah, we're holding up so far so good. Everybody's healthy. Uh, my brother and his family's doing good. The nieces are hanging out with my parents and the grandparents on the farm. So they're having, they're having a little extra fun and, and uh, we're all getting by. So, uh, so far so good. No complaints. Good. Thank you. Well, that's great to hear. What about your franchise organization as a whole? How are, now you're a, you're an emerging brand, so it's not like you got 500 franchisees out there to talk <laughs> oh, yeah. about. Uh, how are they holding up and is there anything you could share you've been doing differently to support them? Yeah, so far everybody's doing pretty good. We got 12 franchisees. Uh, a couple of those are, are pretty new and everybody's doing pretty good. I mean, fortunately we're, we're in the cost reduction industry, so we're in a decent spot to help people right now. So we're, we're actually potentially looking at an increase in business, at least from the franchisees front uh, and their ability to pick up new business. But clearly it's a shocking time. Everybody's working from home. It's a lot of uncertainty. So we're just trying to uh, communicate, hold, hold hands where we need to and, and uh, help, help people out as much as possible. Wow. You know, I really have not gone and like cherry pick Zors that I thought were, were growing, <laughs> but my goodness, I keep getting all these uh, Zors that are actually thriving. And I, I really did not cherry pick this deal. Um, <laughs> So, so you're saying, do your franchisees already work remote, uh, di uh, dig remotely? What's the word? Uh, virtually. Sure. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're definitely set up for like the home paced franchisees. So we're all of our technology, everything like that's really set up to work remotely, communicate remotely. The only main difference that this is really had on us is that we usually meet with clients face to face and that's obviously a no-go right now for almost everybody so we're really having to, to do more zoom video calls presentations that sort of thing so that's been that's been a you know an interesting hurdle to get through but so far so good sounds like it could be a good hurdle if you you know that started becoming more commonplace for you save some time and hassle and driving and all that if you're able to do more more of this type of environment what about uh, collecting the data from the the uh, the clients are they able to do that email and that's, scan and that's actually one of the uh, one of the difficulties right now one of the hurdles is because even if we're able to talk to a decision maker explain them how we can help save the money and the services and categories that we work in they're like, okay, great. That sounds great. I really, really need to save a lot of money right now, but our office is closed. I can't get you the invoices that you need to do a cost reduction audit. So that's been an interesting thing that has happened. So certainly working around that. Some clients have that stuff digitally, but um, yeah. that's, a, that's a hurdle we've had to overcome. Okay. So anything else that you are doing specifically technology or otherwise different than you were doing three weeks ago? I mean, I think it's really just making sure that all the franchisees in the network know that we're here for them. We're actively looking for anything and everything that we can to support them, to help them get through this because it is it is a tough time. I mean, yeah, we're fortunate that we're in an industry that is in the cost reduction side, but yeah. it doesn't mean that everybody's impacted by this. So yeah. we're a small uh, franchise, and what that means for the people that have adopted our franchise is they get a lot of extra attention mm. and they're getting even more of that now we're just doing all we can to support them and help them get through this okay so what about let's switch over to the fran dev side of things you've got folks no doubt at various stages in that franchise discovery process how has that been impacted um, from a lead flow all the way through any closings that got postponed or canceled yeah so we had we had several candidates that were really at the one yard line ready to close and then obviously all this happened in the last two weeks and it's just been absolutely shocking. So the people that we had in the process that were moving forward that were really comfortable with the economy as they knew it at that time and, and everything that we had to offer as far as the franchise, they've just kind of put things on pause, right? It's just been pretty shocking. But then the leads, the lead flow from kind of when all this started to now has really picked up quite a bit because people are looking for cost reduction opportunities. They realize we might be in a recession situation. So the people that, entered into the process once this was kind of a known difficulty they, they it's really been unaffected and we just got a verbal 
uh, today, actually. So and I think we're going to have quite a few more coming. So it's been that's been good. We're in a, we're in a good spot. Really blessed and fortunate to be in the position we're in. Honestly. So you, you've gotten some verbals, but they just they're they're kind of holding the pen in their hand, waiting for any good signs of of significant recovery before they. No, no. I mean, the, the, the candidate I'm talking about today, I mean, they're ready to go. The only delay there is going to be the financing. So that's one thing that certainly we've run into is everybody might have been looking at financing a purchase of the franchise with their 401k or some other stocks or that sort of thing. Clearly, that's taken a hit. So they're having to look at maybe some different financing options that they wouldn't have. But uh, the candidate I'm referring to today, like they're, they're, they're understood in. It's just a matter of getting that financing set up. It's the ones that were earlier in that process, like two weeks ago, that were ready to that were ready to sign and pay. They're the ones that are like, oh my God, this is a crazy situation. We're going to have to wait and see. But going forward, the deal flow is fantastic. The leads have really been coming in from the brokers, and we're pretty excited. So um, did you see them changing uh, some of these candidates that were going to use 401k? Are they switching it up perhaps and going the SBA route? Do you, have you seen that yet? Yeah, I mean, I'd have to talk to Chris Simonich, our director of franchise sales, a little more about that. But from what, I, from what I've gathered, yeah, they're having to look at some alternate sources because nobody wants to touch the 401k right now, right? I mean, if you're mm. down 30 40%, you don't want to cash that out. You want to wait. So might as well borrow some money if there's some options for that. So I think some of the small lenders out there, uh, as well as SBA, are some of the places that they're looking at. Got it. Well, a hashtag we've been promoting and using quite a bit is hashtag franchising stronger together. Uh, we feel that really encompasses the whole message we're feeling, the franchise or uh, the whole industry just wrapping their arms around each other, sharing best practices like you're doing today. Um, are you are your franchisees communicating more than ever right now and really taking advantage of why they bought a franchise in the first place by supporting one another, talking best practices, sharing all these together? I, I think so. I mean, I think the positive that comes out of a, a negative event like this is that everybody kind of bands together. And you have common bonds and you work harder and more as a team and you feel more cohesive and whether that's inside of your own franchise organization or inside the franchising community as a whole, I think everybody uh, has really come together well. So we're just doing what we can to, support our franchisees we're certainly having more conference calls video calls talking to people more okay. um, more facetime that sort of thing at least virtual facetime yeah. so um, the answer is, is definitely yes. what about any franchisees give you any examples of uh triumph over adversity any stories to share of how they've adapted to this new world we're in right now well i mean we, we've recently had a couple franchisees actually in New York and they just completed training not even I think it was two weeks ago. So mm. if you want to talk about the uh, crazy time to officially launch your franchise business. And one of those guys has already seen some really good traction, hit the ground running. He's already got uh, a couple deals and verbals and he's been, uh, yeah, he's, he had to learn to do the virtual thing. I mean, normally we're, like I said, we're meeting face to face. We like doing business the old fashioned way in that sense. And he's, he's really had to adapt and he's, he's nailing it. I mean, it just goes to show that, hard work and, and being flexible goes a long way. Huh. Well, well, kudos to you and the organization you've created. Uh, I know your sales, uh, your franchise guy very well, Chris Simonich, a terrific guy, and he's no doubt adapting to this as well. I know he's always worked from home and virtually, mm -hmm. so that's a, another um, way that you've already been ahead of this issue. You've obviously got a, a home uh, webcam set up with a pretty picture <laughs> behind you. Thanks. thanks. Um, well, brother, as we wrap up, any additional guidance, suggestions, advice you can give, especially franchisors, but really any business professionals out there? I mean, I, I think from maybe from a technical point of view, like like you were saying, Chris is used to working from home. I'm used to working from home. Our organization is really set up to work virtually. So there's tons of tools out there for people. One that we use to share documents back and forth is Dropbox. Without that, I really don't know how we could work virtually, but that is a pretty amazing tool to keep everybody in sync and, and connected. Now we also use Ring Central for communication, uh, extension numbers, phone numbers. So if somebody's calling the office, we can automatically have it forwarded to our cell phone. That's a virtual kind of phone system that's been really good and really allows that flexibility of uh, if the office is closed down, we don't miss a beat. So those are just a couple kind of tech solutions 
that I would offer people if they're not already aware of them, if they're they're having to make a transition to a more virtual office, that can be that can be particularly difficult if they had to do that in the past. So those are a couple, and I'm happy to answer any questions. I really kind of geek out on um, efficiency and tech, so if you have any particular questions, I'm happy to answer them. But all right, well, I've got one for you. What about okay. what about discovery uh, discovery days and training? Mm -hmm. How are you handling discovery days and training moving forward? So we actually don't even we don't do a discovery day. It's just um, something we haven't really done because we haven't really needed to. Mm -hmm. If you're a small organization, the candidates are able to get a feel for the founders, the franchisees, everybody in the organization just by talking to us during video calls. Uh, have you have you? done zoom calls for your discovery days or is oh, it yeah. just phone yeah no, 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 okay. no, yeah we, we do we do numerous video calls so we're all talking to each other getting to know each other that sort of thing but it's like there's when you're doing telecom utility auditing and there's not a whole lot going on in the office other than the ladies and, and the auditors looking at bills and invoices so it's not like a, a restaurant where you want to go see how the hamburger gets made or something like that so yeah. we haven't uh it's mainly just communicating like this through technology and, and getting to know each other get a feel for each other. As far as the training is concerned, that is something we're gonna to have to work, uh, look at going to the virtual training. We've got a, another training session coming up in a month. So if this doesn't clear up, then that's something we're gonna to have to do. We do prefer the face-to-face -face training so we can take the franchisees out to eat and celebrate and get to know them on a personal level, but um, we've got to adapt with the times if, if we need to. Mm, okay, P3 Cost Analyst. Aaron Stahl, CEO, sharing with us what they're doing, what they're seeing in this new new normal, although we believe pretty wholeheartedly this normal won't last real long. Uh, we'll get back to a even better normal in due course, uh, but in the time we've got to adapt, we've got to make the most of the situation we're in. We're seeing franchisors all over the country adding new services, uh, pivoting significantly with the services they have, uh, even leasing equipment that they're not needing right now to folks who can utilize it at home. So Aaron Stahl with P3 Cost Analyst, right in the middle of this, helping businesses to uh, to really save and to uh, be able to optimize some of the, the things that they're not able to optimize on their own. So Aaron, thank you for sharing. Thank you for giving back. Helping. Sure. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. IFPG yeah. President Red Boswell sharing with franchise leaders about how we can do things better together. Let's be stronger, franchising stronger together. Thank you guys. Thank you, Aaron. Thanks, Red.